In 1965, Gordon Moore made a prediction that would set the pace for our modern digital revolution. From careful observation of an emerging trend, Moore deduced that computing would dramatically increase in power and decrease in relative cost at an exponential pace. Proving to be true, this insight is now known as Moore's Law. Moore's Law is an uh, interesting uh, history. It started in uh, 1965. Uh, where Moore predicted how the central processing unit of computers, the CPU, has been accelerating in processing power uh, uh, every year, every two years. Um, and it's amazing how close to the reality the acceleration has happened. In 1990, there was a project, the Hugo project, and they were able to uh, sequence the whole human genome and it took them more than 10 years it took them almost three billion dollars of cost to get to the point of having a whole uh, human genome being sequenced take that into comparison what we can do today today we can do a whole genome sequencing within 24 hours and it's uh, significantly less cost overall so uh, any typical lab can do hundreds of those uh, sequencing of whole genomes and for a fraction of the cost. If we're looking at the 1800s, we have the foundation of genetics as we know it today. Uh, Mendel was uh, a monk and he had a garden and he had uh, done a lot of research based on what grew in that garden. And that's still the foundation of what we're doing today with genetics. And he was writing it down in a notebook and of course, uh, writing down in a notebook is still a very good way to record your research, to record your data, and being able to pass it on to next generations. So fast forward to today, now we have many more ways to uh, interact with our data, not only by using a paper notebook, but we have many more interfaces that allows us to do this acceleration. So we have smartphones, we have tablets, and they all interface to your data, allow you to add more data, um, review your data, and uh, pass it on to, to others. Today, laboratories create an increasing amount of data worldwide. Scientists need a way to structure and organize this data. However, many labs still have not yet embraced digital methods of recording and storing information. The paper and pencil method can be easy to use because there is no fancy equipment required. But it is not easy to track and organize. For decades, researchers used pencil and paper to record their data and manage their samples. Handwriting can be not easy to, for other people to read, and there is no command F function for handwriting. So if you're looking for some information, it's quite difficult to find exactly where the information or sample is. There is never have a universal system to um, record and organize the data, protocol, and um, samples. So each individual people use their own method. So if you have 10 people in your lab, there are two, 10 different uh, organization methods can be used at the same time. Each researcher creates hundreds of samples every month. So data and then sample storage become chaotic and disorganized very easily. To make reproducibility of results easier and more common, data must be centrally generated, collected, and saved. There's never been a universal system to manage data sample protocols. Data is man centrally managed, so we can find the sample chemical protocol, everything in the same platform so we can easily to reproduce the experiment that we did before. Scientists need to be able to compare data with its original version at any time with a full audit trail at hand. To make this possible, the industry must embrace digital data management. eLab Journal is a comprehensive platform that includes all the aspects that is going on within a laboratory allowing you to have that comprehensive amount of research being done in a single platform, uh, not only by yourself, but also by collaborating with your peers within your organization or even outside of your organization. eLab Journal platform um, 
makes versions and, and, and does a full heart trail on your files. And by doing so, it eliminates the possibility for losing your raw material, for having unintentional biases. So whenever you're going to submit it, the research to your uh, scientific journals, um, the eLab Journal platform will basically eliminate that possibility for you to lose track of those files. Comprehensive and seamless documentation during the entire experiment process is indispensable and is increasingly being demanded by scientific journals. By being comprehensive, that means that you're not only taking one focus out of your research, by not only focusing on procedures, by not only focusing on your samples, but taking the integration of all those components and taking that together into the whole platform. That's the level of comprehensiveness that also allows you to raise the quality by also getting that reproducibility in there. So a comprehensive platform like the Lab Journal is, uh, gives you that reproducibility and hence it will give you a higher quality of research. The challenges in irreproducible research must be tackled by all of us, with several different instruments in the lab, each having its own software, connectivity and device management is imperative. Not only does the um, touchscreen of the instrument facilitate to set up the parameter, uh, it also allows to monitor the conditions which the cell lines experience within the incubator. Um, and this is a form of quality control uh, which enables the monitoring and tight control of a very essential step in the workflow of cell biology. Digitalization enabled in our homes to monitor who enters and rings the doorbell and we need to bring that same digitalization to the laboratory um, to produce more accurate results, um, control experimental setups um, more tight, in the end um, launch better products. Device manufacturers like Eppendorf understand the challenges of the industry. One of the company's latest generation of devices, the Cell Expert C170i CO2 incubator, is equipped with the VisionEyes touch interface, enabling a practical guidance for standardized procedures, as well as easy and comprehensive documentation. Digitalization of instrumentation in the laboratory will enable more standardization of workflows. It will enable the efficiency of um, workflows and that's especially also important in the pharmaceutical industry. This will also facilitate globalization of research, sharing of data on a global basis and um, it ultimately helps, as I said before, to improve human living conditions, um, improve therapies for humans which are needed, especially in the areas of cancer, for example, um, which are personalized um, medications for these kind of patients. For more information, visit bio-itech.nl.